Hi friends, I want to show you the perfect method to solve this question. We are to calculate the blue area, that is the area of this triangle. Look at this triangle, its area is given to be 168 meters squared. That of this is given to be 50 meters squared. This triangle is an isosceles right angle triangle because this side and this are congruent and this is a right angle here too the angle is right so how can we solve this how can we calculate the area of this triangle the first thing we're going to do we label the necessary point P, Q, R and S that is we are to calculate the area of triangle PQR. The formula for calculating the area of a triangle is half base times height. We see triangle PQR is a right angle triangle. And when calculating the area of a right angle triangle, the perpendicular sides are the base and the height. So if we take this as the base, say B, this must be the height say h so base equal to b and height equal to h substitute it here so area of triangle pqr equal to 1 over 2 b times h that is 1 over 2 b h this triangle and these we write out their areas so area of triangle pr is equal to 168 meters squared and area of triangle qr is equal to 50 meters squared. Okay, the this triangle PRS, since its area is given to be 168 meters squared, and the formula for calculating the area of a triangle is half base times height. If we take this as the base, to get its height, we have to extend the base to meet another line from this vertex at right angle. The line is the height. Assume its length to be C, so base equal to B and height equal to C. Substitute it here, 1 over 2B times C is 1 over 2BC. So area of triangle PR is equal to 1 over 2BC. Area of triangle PR is 168 meters squared, so 168 equal to 1 over 2BC. Multiply both sides by 2. Here, 1 over 2 times 2 is 1, and here, 168 times 2 is 336. So, 336 equal to BC, that is, BC equal to 336. We are going to keep this equation for now. Come here, we see this angle and this are formed by a two straight line intersecting, that is, they are vertically opposite angles. We all know the vertically opposite angles are congruent. That is, this angle and this are congruent. So if you assume the size of this angle to be R, this must also be R. Let's look at this triangle. It is a right angle triangle. And this angle of A is R. Based on the rule, that the summation of angles in a triangle is 180 degrees this must be 180 minus 90 degrees minus r 180 minus 90 degrees is 90 degrees so it is 90 degrees minus r same is for triangle pqr since this is a right angle and this is 90 degrees minus r this must be 180 degrees minus 90 degrees minus into bracket 90 degrees minus r Minus open bracket 90 degrees minus r is minus 90 plus r. 180 degrees minus 90 degrees minus 90 degrees is 0. So the angle is plus r. Come to this triangle as well. Since it is a right angle triangle and this is r, this must be 180 degrees minus 90 degrees minus r, which is 90 minus r. We look here. Since this is a right angle, this must also be a right angle. Don't forget, triangle PQS is an isosceles right angle triangle. This side PQ and this 
RS are congruent, we write it out here, line PQ equal to line RS. The next thing we are going to do, we come here, label this point T, then extend line ST to meet another line from this vortex at right angle, call this point V, so triangle QSV, since it is a right angle triangle, and this angle is 90 degrees minus R, we know this must be R. Okay now, this triangle QSV is a right angle triangle and has an angle R and also an angle 90 degrees minus R. Same is for this triangle. It is a right angle triangle. It has an angle R and angle 90 degrees minus R. That is, the two triangles are similar. But this line PQ is the hypotenuse of this triangle PQR and this line QS is that of this triangle QSV. Recall line PQ and line QS are congruent. That makes the two right angle triangle to be identical. So therefore, since this side facing angle R has its length to be B, this side facing angle R must also be B in length. And since this is H, this must also be H. Now look at this quadrilateral. Three of its angles are right angles. Definitely, this must also be a right angle because summation of angles in a quadrilateral is 360 degrees. Since all the angles of the quadrilateral are right, it is either a square shaped quadrilateral or a rectangle. But the fact that this side and this are congruent makes it a square because in a rectangle no adjacent sides are congruent so since it is a square and we know one of the properties of a square is that all its sides are equal in length therefore since this is h this side and this must also be h i want us to look at line sp its length is p and it is divided into this h and this c so b equal to h plus c take a transpose of h to the left so b minus h equal to c that is c equal to b minus h come to this equation replace this c with b minus h therefore b into bracket b minus h equal to 336 now come here to this quadrilateral QRSV. We see this side and this are both perpendicular to this side. That is, line QR and side SV are parallel. The only type of quadrilateral that has just a pair of congruent sides is a trapezium. So therefore, the quadrilateral is a trapezium. The formula for calculating the area of a trapezium is 1 over 2 into bracket a plus b all multiplied by a height where a and b are representing the length of the parallel sides that's we already have this to be b so this will be a and this height is already here because it's perpendicular to the parallel sides so a equal to h b equal to b and height equal to h substitute it here now area of the trapezium QRSV equal to 1 over 2 into bracket H plus B all multiplied by H. H plus B multiplied by H is H squared plus BH and 1 over 2 multiplied by H squared plus BH is 1 over 2 H squared plus 1 over 2 BH. So area of the quadrilateral QRSV equal to 1 over 2 H squared plus 1 over 2 BH. But this quadrilateral QRSV is divided into this triangle QRS and this QSV. So area of quadrilateral QRSV equal to area of triangle QRS plus area of triangle QSV. Area of triangle QRS, we have it here to be 50 meters squared. And this triangle QSV is congruent with this. Therefore, they'll have equal areas. So area of triangle QSV equal to area of triangle PQR. 
area of triangle PQR is here 1 over 2 BH replace this with 1 over 2 BH then here replace this with 1 over 2 BH as well so area of trapezium QRSV equal to 50 plus 1 over 2 BH here substitute it so 50 plus 1 over 2 BH equal to 1 over 2 H squared plus 1 over 2 BH this 1 over 2 BH cancels this 1 over 2 BH multiply both sides of the equation by 2 here 1 over 2 H squared times 2 is H squared and here 50 times 2 is 100 so 100 equal to H squared that is H squared equal to 100 take the square root of both sides here square root of H squared is H while here square root of 100 is 10 so H equal to 10 substitute it here B into bracket B minus 10 is B squared minus 10B so B squared minus 10B equal to 336 this is a quadratic equation you can use the quadratic equation formula to solve it and you'll obtain B equal to 24 or B equal to minus 14 B is the length of this side it can't be negative we discard this therefore B equal to 24 and he H equal to 10 substitute it here 1 over 2 times 24 is 12 12 times 10 is 120 so area of triangle PQR equal to 120 that is Blue area equal to 120 meters squared. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, share and comment. And also turn on notifications. Thank you.